Welcome to the Recaps channel. In today's video, we'll recap The Crush. Let's get started. After getting a new job, a 28-year-old writer named Nick Elliott moves to a new city in searches for an apartment. While driving, he almost hits a 14-year-old girl named Adrian Forrester. Nick talks to Adrian's mother, Liv, about a sign outside her house and asks if the guest house is available. Liv happily shows him the guest house, explaining that they're often away and would appreciate having someone around. Inside, Nick hears someone playing the piano and learns it's Adrian. Nick and Adrian briefly meet again outside while Adrian's friend, Cheyenne, checks out Nick on her behalf. Later, Nick goes to work at Peak Magazine and attends a meeting where he's scolded for being late by his boss, Michael. Nick is assigned to research and write an article about a man named Robert Levansky, who embezzled $2 billion. Michael also instructs Amy Maddock to track Nick and take photos of their findings. That night, Adrian surprises Nick at the guest house, and they discuss Robert Levansky. Adrian suspects that Levansky's stolen money might be hidden in a Swiss account. She takes Nick's tobacco without permission and talks about her age, almost 15. On another day, Adrian visits the guest house while Nick is showering. She asks for a picture of him and his grandfather, but he declines. Adrian peeks into the bathroom while Nick is dressing up. Once he's done, Adrian gives Nick a pair of sunglasses. Adrian tries persuading Nick to attend her parents' party over the weekend, and he agrees to give it a shot. On his way to see his boss Michael, Nick realizes there's something wrong with his article about Levansky. He asks Michael to review his work once more, but Michael insists the article is fine and hasn't been edited by anyone else. Michael praises Nick's writing, leaving Nick puzzled. Back home, Nick decides to attend Liv and Cliff's party. After some small talk with the couple, he hears Adrian playing the piano beautifully, impressing everyone. Afterwards, Nick follows Adrian outside, and Nick discovers that Adrian rewrote his article without permission. Nick tries to tell her it's not right, but she dismisses his concerns. Adrian wants Nick to like her, and he admits that he does. She asks him to take her for a ride, and after some reluctance, he agrees. They go to a coastal lighthouse, and Adrian apologizes for rewriting the article, sharing her struggles in making friends due to skipping grades in school. Nick comforts her, and assures her they can be friends. Adrian kisses Nick's hand and then him, but he pulls away and insists they leave. Later that night, Adrian smiles, thinking about the kiss. Later, while Nick is working at home, he sees Adrian sunbathing outside. Some time passes, and Nick is hosting a barbecue with Amy and others when Michael visits. He informs Nick that Levansky wants to meet him for an exclusive deal, impressed by something in Nick's article. Michael gives Nick a bottle of wine before leaving. Amy goes to the orchard to find sticks for the marshmallows. She notices a wasp's nest on a tree, and Adrian surprises her and tells her they should leave. At the party, they spot Nick talking to a beautiful girl. Adrian comments that Amy should not to be concerned because some guys actually prefer girls with small chests. Amy gets offended by Adrian's behavior and decides to talk to Nick about it. She asks him what's wrong with Adrian, but Nick thinks everything is fine. While working, Adrian calls Nick, telling him she missed him and playfully mentioning that she just got her period. Nick asks about a picture she may have taken of him with his grandfather, but Adrian denies it. Curious, Nick goes to Adrian's house to find her. Inside her room, he sees pictures of them together and finds a heart-shaped pillow with their initials embroidered on it. He hears running water and sees Adrian getting ready to take a shower. Left with no other choice, Nick decides to hide inside Adrian's closet. When Adrian enters the room, she begins to undress. Accidentally making a noise in the closet, Nick is discovered by Adrian. Despite the surprise, Adrian continues undressing before finally facing Nick. Completely exposed, Adrian slowly ties up her hair, smirking all the while, and then goes to the bathroom. Quietly leaving her room, Nick encounters Cliff at the front door. When questioned about his presence, Nick claims he was returning a book to Adrian. Cliff asks Nick for help in carrying some boxes to the attic, where he shows Nick a carousel he's been trying to restore for Adrian. Cliff explains they intended to turn the attic into a playroom for her, but she never took to the idea. While they discuss Adrian, she suddenly appears in a bathrobe, startling Nick. Cliff reassures her that they're just talking about her, and Nick excuses himself. When Nick sees Adrian on the swing, he approaches her and asks if they can talk. Nick admits that he likes her, but only as a friend, emphasizing their 14-year age difference. Despite his efforts to set boundaries, Adrian ignores him. 
To make things clear, Nick stops her from swinging and promises to be her friend. As Nick turns to leave, Adrian brings up the night they kissed, leaving him uneasy. When he insists it was a mistake, Adrian questions if sneaking into her closet to watch her undress was also a mistake. One day, Nick shows Amy his newly restored car but finds it vandalized later. He tells Adrian's parents about his suspicion that she did it, but they don't believe him. Adrian denies it when asked by her father, and Cheyenne asks Nick to meet her later to talk about Adrian, unaware that Adrian is watching from her window. Adrian manipulates a situation at the stables, causing Cheyenne to fall during horse riding practice. Cheyenne is injured and taken to the hospital. That night, Nick waits for Cheyenne at the orchard but is surprised to see Adrian instead. Adrian questions Nick about Cheyenne and her feelings for him. Later, Nick returns home with Amy, and Adrian asks her if they've been to the lighthouse, teasingly suggesting they might have made out there. Irritated, Amy goes inside, and Nick ignores Adrian's greeting as he walks past her. At work, Nick tells his colleagues about his meeting with Levansky when Samantha calls to inform him that his file is blank. He realizes he brought the wrong file and goes back home to check. At home, he finds all his files are gone. He calls Amy, blaming Adrian for the mess, and asks her to cover for him at work while he rewrites his article. After the call, Nick finds a floppy disk half-hidden under the carpet. Underneath is a secret trapdoor, leading to a shrine with lit-up candles, love letters, and a photo of him, left by Adrian. Annoyed, Nick nails the trapdoor shut and avoids Adrian's continuous calls. He works hard on rewriting his article, replacing his locks at home, and finally submits the revised piece. Nick starts looking for a new place to stay and begins packing. Amy visits him, and they end up kissing. Meanwhile, Adrian cries in her room as Nick ignores her calls. Later, Adrian sneaks into the guesthouse again. Amy encounters Adrian the next day and confronts her about her feelings for Nick. Adrian retorts, and Amy leaves to avoid an argument. The following day, Amy finds herself locked in her darkroom with wasps released inside. She sees a photo of Adrian's and panics, breaking a window and passing out. Nick learns about Amy's accident and discusses it with Michael, but Adrian interrupts their conversation. Adrian acts innocent and sympathizes with Nick, but he becomes suspicious and pulls away from her. At Adrian's horse riding competition, she's deeply disappointed when Nick doesn't show up. She takes a cab to Michael's event and causes a scene, slapping Nick and professing her love for him. Nick rejects her advances, and Adrian gets angry, throwing a fit and hitting him while screaming. People stare, and Nick warns her to stay away, but she kisses him again. Nick heads to the apartment he was supposed to move into, but the landlady claims Adrian told her he's a drug dealer. Forced to return home, he gets arrested for assaulting Adrian. At the hospital, Adrian tells a fabricated story about Nick assaulting her, and they believe her. The police doesn't believe Nick's side of the story either, especially when they find his seed inside her. Michael bails him out, but Nick is ordered to stay away from Adrian's house. Later, Cheyenne tells Nick about Rick, a guy Adrian had a crush on who died from poisoning. Cheyenne reveals that Adrian knows about poisons and wasps. She mentions Adrian's diary in her bedroom, which might help clear Nick's name. As Nick gathers his things, he hears a sound from Adrian's house and investigates. In Adrian's room, he finds candles, an apology letter, and his defaced photo with his grandfather. Adrian appears, holding a wooden tool and crying. Nick asks about Cheyenne, but Adrian gets upset, claiming she came back for him. Nick continues searching for Cheyenne, but Adrian starts hitting him with the wooden tool. Nick tries to fight back, but Adrian manages to push him over the wooden railings. She approaches him, expressing sadness about the situation. Just before she can strike him again, Cliff suddenly arrives. Nick goes to the attic and finds Cheyenne tied up on the carousel. Cliff breaks into the house, and Adrian attacks Nick again. When Cliff arrives, he tackles Nick, but Adrian knocks her father unconscious, and when Adrian tries to attack again, he stops her with a punch to the face. Adrian gets confined to a psychiatric hospital and continues writing letters to Nick. Her doctor sees her progress and reminds her of an afternoon session. Meanwhile, Amy brings Nick the letters from Adrian. At the psychiatric hospital, Adrian finishes a session with her doctor, goes back to her room, and takes out a photo of him and his wife, glaring at it. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the video. See you again here on The Recaps channel.